everyone, you're so much welcome to today's tutorial, and I still remain your shoe making made easy tutor Odurole Mojibola. And today I am going to be teaching us how to simply this to create this particular interlock slide. You can see it has a square shape in so I'm gonna be showing you how to go about the measurements and have a cute look as this if you're watching my channel for the first time ensure you subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified sit back i'm gonna be right back. so now i'm going to be making use of this particular already made rubber sew for my interlock that's what i'm going to be using as my so i actually bought this this way and you know very well that the next thing you need to do is to create your insole which i have already done i have taught us severally how to create different kinds of insole and this is what i'm going to be using for this if you you have not seen my video on that please let me know in the comment section and i will tag i will try to connect you with the link so that you can watch and see how i create my insoles now let's move straight into the creation of the upper which is actually our interlock slide so first of all let's quickly go to the measurement you have to of course I either you use your shoelace or you use whoever speed you want to use so i need you to understand that our interlock sander slide is going to be going this way you can see the way i'm trying to fold my measuring tape make sure that you have about one and half here so that at least you can use that for lasting. I think one and a half should be fine. Then you fold this one here and don't forget it's going to come towards the side. So let's say I'm stopping, I'm stopping here. This is about nine inches. So you can decide to add about one extra inch because by the time you fold here, a lot of um, reduction might have taken place. So I'm going to be suggesting that you had about one to two inches. I always love it if you have more than enough than when it is shut. So let's say we are making use of 11 inches on this side. Now let's come to this other side as well. I have one and a half under. Don't forget that I'm still going to fold this way it's going to go this way and then come this way and i have 29 on this side which is 11 so i will be using 13 on this side and i'm going to be using 11 on this particular size this is inches please so the length of my strap of each strap of leather i'm going to be cutting is going to be 11 and 13 respectively for this inner outer part and the inner part now as far as the width is concerned i'm going to be using about about 16 centimeter the 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 the, the width is about 16 centimeter this, which is about 6.25 inches 6.25 of an inch that's what i'm going to be using for the width the total width of the whole mem strap now let me quickly show us so now this is what i have by the time i divided it into two i'm going to be having about 3.125 inch now i want you to know that the full length like i said is 6.25 of an inch you can see i'm having a 3.125 that is what i have here you can see what i have that's that is what we have here so it's important for us to understand that by the time you are cutting you are cutting as long as 6.25 that's what you are cutting so by the time you cut that you have to fold it to stitch please i need you to see this i have already stitched it i'm using a very light um leather and i want you to know that you can actually use fabric for this design as well you can use a satin a satin yes satin material you can use him um, um, you can also use a crepe material. Yes, you can use a crepe material or any other material that you know that it will be easy for you to easily fold. So I have already stitched this. As you can see, I've stitched it. That's why 
we have this here so i'm just going to turn it inside out please don't forget when you are cutting the full width it has to be 6.25 wide and then you follow the measurement we made here as the length so just try to turn inside out So now that I've turned it inside out, let's quickly go to how to go about our interlock sander slide. Yes, the first thing we are going to be doing is we're going to try to, I just want to first of all show us how you can actually go about it. How you can go about it. So I'm just going to, I'm just trying to hold a little bit here. Hold a little bit here. That's what I'm trying to do. So don't forget that this one is going to this particular for the left leg you can see what i'm doing for the left leg so this is going to go this way and then this one this way for the left leg so you will interchange it when you get to the right leg so you can see what i'm having already it's looking more like what i want See what I have already here. I'm sure you can see it. So this is here. This is gonna be here. As you can see what I'm having. So you can see what this looks like. So sometimes when you do all of this, it looks like oh, this does not seem to have any any form of look or shape or whatever. But the truth is that by the time you are actually through with your last, it to be beautiful. So for this one, when you want to last, you find out that the position is almost at the same spot. Although this would definitely go down a little bit more. So I have taught us how you can actually use your leg to position your lasting. If you have not seen that, please, I need you to watch my previous tutorial on how to go about this. The previous tutorial I had on how to use a cord, a DIY cord sander slide. I explained intensively how you can use your hand, your fingers, as well as your leg to last properly. Prop, and I mean properly. You can use your feet to do last. If you don't have a shoe last yet, please, I am not saying that you should use your foot in place of your shoe last. I'm just trying to say that you can actually use your foot to do the positioning because you can, you might not be able to use your leg. Probably you wear 39 or 42, you can't use it to create for somebody who wear 42. You cannot say you want to use your leg to to do to, to to last 38. You can definitely use it to position it. Yes, if you actually watch that video, you can position it, but you cannot use it to last it because the size, the weight, and everything might not actually be the same thing. So you can see what I actually have here. This is so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. I'm just going to go ahead and place it on my insole. So now I'm just going to quickly go ahead and last it. Now I've applied my gum on it i didn't bother applying gum on it i applied the contact adhesive this particular one i applied it on the surface of my insole and then i'm just going to go ahead and then last on it the leather is soft it will still stick to it all i need to do is then when i finally position it properly i'll try to apply more gum on this particular side so that i can properly fix it because i want to be careful so that i don't just smear this with the um adhesive now i have to change the sole the last just because the sole and um, the, the, the um sole i'm using is actually bigger is bigger than them the one we use for the measurement so just walk just measure the same way i measured so i'm going to use size 41 last it's actually 41 i'm actually making this for and i find out that my size was one last is actually working perfectly for a woman size 41 
so this is the first place we are going to go go to try to position this try to position this so i've tried to position that i'm going to come to this other side as well and do the positioning i want to just move it a little bit inwards so you can fold you can do whatever you want whatever way you want it to look like you can do all of those things whichever way you want it to look like i'm going to come here and just do this on this side here i'm still going to try to pull it don't forget ensure that your last aligned properly it's always very important so this is coming here i want it to be very wide you can see where i'm stopping it it's almost very close that's how the design is and i'm just being careful with it so let's go to this other side going to this other side you can see this is laying perfectly well and this is laying perfectly well ensure it does that on yours as well so i'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing right here i think i still need to work on this yes right here so you can see what it looks like here i'm secret by the time i finish the i will finish the back for you to quickly see i know somebody's already asking how did she position where did how did she know where to position it i've taught us this several times and i want to believe by now we all should be able to know where and where and where to position so i'm going to try to reduce this you can see that even this part of it is not really okay i'm going to read make sure you are using the very soft leather it makes the whole process easy for you so i'm going to apply my gum again my contact adhesive again inside it i'm going to apply it here so that this one lay perfectly well here creating that particular look so let me quickly do that So I know somebody, like I was saying earlier, I know somebody is already asking how did I position it. Just a quick reminder, I am actually using this side and this side. Knowing fully well that this is very wide, so I don't have any reason to fear. Or, you know, fear the smallest toe showing or not. It's going to be fully covering the foot very well, including the smallest toe. you hardly be seeing the smallest toe actually in this kind of interlock slide. So... I just position my fingers like I used to do as you can see you can see th this is here and this is here on this particular side so that's all I did ensuring that the longest finger is right at the tip of your insole now for this lower part you can decide to position it you know at whatever point you like just ensure that the the outer this outer part of the foot comes out a little bit much more than this you can see that it's showing like that here this one came out and this one is here but if you look at it right here it's almost at the same point can you see that so i want you to pay attention to that when you are lasting your interlock slide i'm going to go ahead and last the second one you can just position this on this place it on it just to place where you are going to last for the second one and use your pen to mark it instead of placing your hand all over again come to this side and do the same thing come to the lower part and follow the same trend ensure that you actually position it properly on themselves so i'm using this and i'm gonna be using this side as well so let's quickly check you can see i have it here i have it here then i have another one here then this i have it here so i'm just going to follow that to 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 last the other one at least this is not having enough adhesive i'm going to be applying more just for it to perfectly stay on it
Now, I need you to know that this particular insole that I created, I did not add an insole cardboard because of the kind of sole I'm using. It actually does not stop it if you want to use an insole cardboard. If you want your insole to be thicker, I don't want my insole to be thicker than this. That's one of the reasons and because of also the kind of sole I want to use. That is the reason I'm not putting an insole cardboard inside this. I actually use Marco 4. So, and it's quite thick. So, I don't want my insole to be thicker than this. It's a foreign Marco. Marco is also known as... EVA foam ever foam. So in case you don't know what I mean by Marco is still EVA foam So I'm just going to go ahead and last my second foot So the final thing we are going to be doing now is to bottom it. I am still using my contact adhesive. So I am just going to go. I have applied it on this and on this. So I'm going to remove it. I always love to start from this particular part of our footwear. So be careful. Make sure that the other side is not touching the sole at all. Strategically position this here. As long as you have actually cut perfectly well, you see it's closing that side hole. If you cut it very well, like I taught us, you should not have any issues with it. No opening. That's what makes your job neat. So please go and watch the video on how to actually cut out soles, how to create soles, how to cut in soles. Please go and watch the video. I'll try to put it at the end of this video so that you can just touch the screen and check it out so i'm going to come here just come here and then um, fix it in as well so then i'll begin to go to the side and push them in gradually 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 i'm going to be doing that and sure it goes in because what i caught is meant to be inside and i'll yet be working on the other side as well just to ensure that I'm not having anything coming out. So, you really don't have anything to worry about. So, you just need to go ahead, do some armoring, armor it, but make sure you do it with care. Because some of the armors we use tends to create marks on our footwear. So, I would suggest you cushion it before you armor it. Just try to cushion. You can even use a leather as well to cushion it so that you don't have marks on it, but not as soft as this. Probably much more pieces before you finally armor it. And then armor all the edges. Do that to all of the edges. Make sure you cushion this side before you armor so that it will not be showing. So, you can see what this looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? Come on! Isn't this beautiful? So, I want to believe you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have done that, please ensure you share this video. Share, 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 share. 
sharing is caring so please ensure you share and at the same time like this video and if you are just coming across my channel for the first time i'm so honored to have you and i want you to go right away press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified i want you to know that my pattern ebook with over 50 different designs is still very much available and also my intensive class my advanced class on the heels are all available for you to get so let me know in the comment section if you would like me to intimate you more on all of this and also the link to each of those courses is actually in the description so check it out and see what they are all about thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial and i'm going to see you next time bye